everybody? It's Eric Johnson from Airtay Throws Nation. Today is Quick Take Friday. Here we go, two minutes. One of the things we want to see young throwers do is get out of the squat. When we look at rotational throws, so many throwers are squatted down, and then whether it's the the rotational shot, they got to come around and they're too squatted. In the discus, this is really a killer. When we see this type of thing and then we're here, we kind of get this type of emotion. You can see how that makes me do this. Remember, there's a slight up down action and there's a right way and a wrong way. When we start a little bit taller, especially in the discus, you're going to notice the best throwers in the world are typically up here. Many women throwers kind of come up as they drop in, but they're always in a position that's high that enables them to drop down and sprint, right, to apply that angle. In the rotational shot too, you're gonna see most elite throwers, they're gonna be up here so they can drop down. You see very few throwers staying down here and doing this because you can see how that's gonna move. So remember, in the throws, pillar one, we set up our chain reaction, we're taller, a smidge taller. Shot and disc are different. We're gonna talk about that in another Quick Tip Friday or on one of our YouTube videos. But pay attention, stay a little taller so that you can turn and drop into your throw, which is pillar one, two, three, and you will throw much farther faster. Thanks so much for watching, we'll see you next Friday. When we talk about the difference between the shot and the discus, the discus, the implement is the way everything's taller and longer, and we're gonna be kind of more in this position when we throw. In the rotational shot, we're, we're bent a little bit more, the knees are still forward, but what I talk about is one key critical difference. So many young discus throwers or shot putters, if they bend 